Well, having the latest equipment can be life-altering for people with kidney failure. That's why CHEO is raising money to purchase top-of-the-line machines so young patients can live full, active lives. CTV's Megan Shaw explains. Get those bubbles. <laughs> Judging by that giggle, you wouldn't guess two-year-old Thomas is in the middle of a life-saving treatment. Blow on it. One this little guy does with mom or dad for several hours, six days a week. He really doesn't think that this is special. He thinks this is normal. Thomas was born with a rare genetic disorder that causes kidney failure and kidney tumors. So they had to be removed to prevent cancer from spreading. Now this hemodialysis machine at CHEO cleans his blood. I really don't want to think about it, but Thomas wouldn't be here. I, his kidneys completely shut down. Using dialysis, many people can live full lives. The blood goes in these tiny, tiny little straws, gets sloshed around the super clean fluid. That's how we clean out their blood. But because most patients require treatment at least three times a week, Dr. Gabrielle Weiler says the current machines are wearing down. That's a good, strong heart, little man. Chia was raising money to buy five new machines that will offer an even better level of care. We'll be able to not only remove more toxins, get the fluid off, but also have a better idea of, of their fluid status and health. And the, the real hope is, is we can get them off a lot of their medications. Each machine will cost about $50,000. There we go, buddy. Okay, Thomas. Dialysis nurse Tara Godfrey says they could change a young patient's life. Typically, dialysis wipes you out. You don't go to school, you're not interested in socializing, your appetite's diminished. It's just barely getting by. So to be able to provide the treatment that's, you know, life-sustaining, but also where they can have, like, some sort of normal existence outside of here is huge. And for little Thomas, the new machines could reduce his treatment time by a full day. Extra time to play outside the hospital as he waits for his upcoming transplant. Chances are he's probably going to miss all of this, but uh, because that's all he knows. But we're really excited. Megan Shaw, CTV News. Your continued support makes a difference in the lives of the children at CHEO. Please visit CHEOFoundation.com and donate today.